So the over-engineered farm begins, I guess. short feathers here and then the long wing feathers yeah flight feathers so they're the ones you want to cut they're much easier to cut that's it i really wanted that cockerel you'll match our girls we had one like this but he was horribly aggressive you remember yeah i remember he, no he just used to chase people around so we've now got quite the flock. How many, we've got 12 new layers and uh, a little freebie mottled peak in. I'm sorry, uh, I would put them on the hay bale, on the straw bale. Now he's not ever had any lady friends, so uh, he's gonna get a bit fruity, I reckon. So, Sunday evening project, picking up the birds. They're just the layers. They're gonna be there for they will. They're going to be in that stable until bird flu restrictions are lifted, which is just a pain because we want to get them out on the grass. Hi, we're back. Well, it's a bit of a late start today. It's busy editing this morning and also, of course, filing all sorts of reports and claims for our money that's gone missing. Not missing. Just, just damn right stolen. Well, bunnies are out. Go on then. A couple of little chores to do down on the chickens. Don't scare the new ones. Let's start with what we know would work. So we're gonna go for simple frame from this and then some offcuts from outside. Really need to sort out the barn. Still got everything that spewed out the back of the lorry when we moved up on the last week. I'd like to say the workshop's nice and organised and we can just use the saw in there, but something tells me it'll take longer to do that than just to cut with a saw out here. the over-engineered farm begins, I guess. Although this is just for chickens, that's eventually where we're gonna have pigs, so. Pigs, pretty, even from our limited experience of having pigs in the past, pretty destructive. So um, if we do want to use this, makes sense to make it to last. Now I was just gonna put some chicken mesh on here, because I think we've probably got enough kicking around. However, I'm just wondering if that weld mesh panel, being that it's heavy duty, in the spirit of over engineering it, might cut down a fit on here. See, that's why I dragged all of my hoarded materials up through a couple of counties to stick with us. Perfect fit.
All right, girls. How's this gonna work then? Right, I think we've well and truly over-engineered this. I'd anticipated wonky walls, but not quite that wonky. It's pretty plumb. Hmm. A lot of the old stone walls on the farm where they've needed repairing rather than repair the stonework. They've just boxed in and cast concrete. The stonework there. And just... It's okay, we've worked with it. Kind of how we planned. Just that this wall goes in. All I need to do is just take the corner off down the bottom. Did you just want a bit of soil to play in? You are going to need to get back in now, otherwise you get told off. On your head. Well, at least this morning's project has taught us one thing. We uh, definitely need to sort that lintel out. Well, that will keep them in for now. Next priority is perches. One common mistake is a lot of people make completely round dowels for perches, and that's actually not that great for chickens. Uh, so we're gonna go rounded, but square is always best. Ah, like these. That'd be all right, but it's CLS. And then we've got these offcuts from the joists. They will do. I'll probably stick a third one on there, but it's just so temporary because, like I said, all being well, these will be all out in the field in a purpose-built chicken out. Hopefully all of these will be out on a purpose-built chicken house in the field soon. The whole of YouTube will tell you off for climbing gates, you know that? Yeah. yeah. Well, they don't actually, they can't really tell you off because it's not even hanging, so there's no hinge end, I would say. You're okay, it's just a, like a hurdle. Yeah, we're 